Greetings. It's time to do a honing video. Today I'm going to be honing a morning glory. First I want to introduce the tools of the trade. They're pretty simple. Paper towels, water, electrical tape, and of course hones and a straw. With homes, I like DMTs for setting the bevel, and I've got to set the bevel on this. This just just came out of the shop, and <laughs> got to have a new bevel set. Up. This is the thousand grit nanolong, and this is the twelve thousand grit nanolong. We'll just start off with this. We got to set the bevel, so the first thing we're going to do is tape it. The reason I taped them is because they're new razors. Nobody wants razor hone on a new razor. So we tape it up, and then there's no wear on the on the spine, and it's still a new razor, but a honed new razor. So the first thing I have to do is set a bubble. And I'll just go straight to the black DMT. I always hone, hone in one hand and razor in the other. And I always, well, I don't always do anything always, but I usually hone with an X pattern. X pattern goes across the hone like this and then back across the hone like that. So it forms a little X on the home. Now this does a couple of things. Mostly it makes sure that you have coverage across the entire blade, no matter how it's sitting on the home. Secondly, it gives you diagonal patterns, which are not going to be as aggressive as straight up teeth. I go by feel on this a lot, see, and it feels like it's got a little bit of an edge, but here's how we're going to find out if it's got a bevel. If it hits that thumbnail and stops, it's got a bevel. The other thing I do is I like to take a look at them, visually inspect them. It looks like it has approached a nice clean bevel. We go to the blue DMT. Very, very important to make sure you do have a clean, if you're setting a bevel, you have to set the whole bevel. You have to make sure that the entire blade edge has been set or you end up polishing an edge that's not ready. And it won't shave. You can't uh, just polish an edge that's not sharp and expect it to shave. You have to have the bevel set correctly first. Like to wipe all the residue off the edge because it obscures any imperfections and if you hold it up to the light and you slide it along the light checking for reflections you can see any aberrations in the surface from the reflection reflection it almost magnifies what you're seeing it gives you a much better contrast. You get this bright shining light coming off the reflection versus whatever the background is. And it shows you pretty cleanly what you're looking at. And that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to go to the water stone. And then again, the same thing I use two hands. What we're doing now is we have to remove all the scratch patterns of the DMT. Once they're removed, it's ready to go on to the next step. And since it's a well-worn DMT, it's not going to take a lot.
Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a line of sluice juice coming on top of the razor right in front of the blade as the edge pushes it along. You want to see that. When you got it just right, it pushes the slurry very nicely and very cleanly. Just from the feel and the look, you can tell when it's getting there. And it's getting there. I always rinse the blade in between because you don't want to carry any of the bigger grit to the finer stone. Again, we wet, wet the stone. Now you can use a slurry stone to help build up a slurry, but usually I don't find that's necessary. They work fast enough without that, and they build up their own slurry anyway. Just building up a slurry just from the work as we go. Rolling out. Last few strokes, we just ease up on it. The stone has gotten a bit dry. We're going to juice it up one more time. Get these last few strokes nice and soft. Notice I always roll the razor over on the back. That way I cannot jam the the blade into the end of the stone and, and doll up my work. By rolling it this way, we don't have a chance of going backward. If we're doing it like this and then rolling it this way, you have a chance to smack that stone. And you don't want to do that. That'll, that'll set you back to the beginning and then you start over. So always roll it over on the spine. The only thing this edge should ever touch is a hone, letter, or your face. That's feeling really nice. I'm a firm believer that you could probably tell when your razor is ready simply by feel, even if you were blind. Just by the way it feels going across the home. But, honestly, you never truly know until you shave test a razor. The thing is, you can have 90% of the blade wickedly sharp, and if you have 10% with problem, that 10%, that 10% will make the whole razor feel terrible. And the last step is a little bit of stropping. Until you strop, it is never done. Coming off a home, you should never shave with a razor until it's been stropped. And I like the strop pretty good. I like to give it a good going over.
that should be a pretty good razor to shave with right now. Let's see what it'll do. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can see that, but yes, it just collects the hairs. The hairs just stand right up. You just They just come right off if you've got it right. You don't even have to touch your skin and the hairs will just fall right off the blade. But anyway, maybe I'll do a uh, test shave for you guys later. Um, if you have any questions about honing, by all means, reach out to me. I'm more than glad to help. It's a necessary part of shaving. I'll, be, I'll help you any way I can to keep your razors maintained. Good steel and a few good hones is really all you need. So, anyway, I hope you liked that. Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you did and say hi. Uh, I'll see you later.